as viewers and listeners to this game. Glad you're with us today. And it's a beautiful, beautiful Saturday afternoon here in Columbus for that move to today because uh, of the long drive for Baldwin Woodville to get here. In fact, I talked to uh, Coach Dan Keeper on the field a few few minutes ago, and they left at 6.30 this morning. I said, whoa, you left early. He says, well, we stopped and we had a team uh, breakfast. So breakfast and took their time getting here. And, hey, they're excited to be playing. We're excited to be here as well. Amen, brother. And, Mike, I couldn't help but uh, just uh, take a quick uh, synopsis of when we first came on the air and, and you listed yourself and myself and, and Nin Kaira back Kyra, in yep. the studio. And I'm going like, what? Absolutely. And, boy, I'm telling you, we're all having fun. That's the name. <laughs> oh, we forgot Schweitz over here doing the, uh, the clock. And, of course, Columbus. Jared Fox doing the PA today. Unlike uh, none other, of course, Marlon Hensler not here today. He's at the state cross-country meet, so... Here we go, Mike. Take it away, partner. All right. Corbin Hines is going to kick it away for Columbus. And back deep to receive, Cal Smith is back at his own six-yard line for Baldwin-Woodville. So is Ryan Beanendahl. In this first quarter of play, Baldwin-Woodville goes right to left as Tim and I see it. Here's the approach. Kicks in the air. End over end. And Beanendahl has it at the 9. He stumbles, fumbles the ball, picks it back up to the 15. And he's down there. He's down there. Yeah, they're saying he's down at the 9-yard line. And that is a uh, that's a break for Columbus. Tough break for Baldwin-Woodville. But the Blackhawks will set up shop first and 10 from their own 9-yard line. And that's how this game Gets underway here today. It's a McKinstry's home furnishings first down for Baldwin Woodville. Second place tie for the Blackhawks. They tied with Rice Lake for second in the middle border conference this year. Five and two conference records. Baldwin Woodville was seven and two overall. They're seven and two coming into this game. Columbus, of course, champs of the Capital Conference, a perfect 10 and 0. All right, Mason Warner, the quarterback, out of the gun on first and 10, low snap, hands it off. And this is Smith straight ahead, and he gets stood up right around the 10-yard line. Brady Link led the charge defensively there. Taking a tackle yeah, right there. Go right through the guy. After a gain of close to three, on second down, back to throw is Warner throws. It is Great catch. caught. Yes, a diving yeah. yards. I gave close to 10. All right, we'll give him 10. First and 10 for the Blackhawks. Low snap again. Receiver, but if it were to have been completed, I don't think he would have got much. Three receivers to the left, one to the right. Smith is the lone setback. And Warner again out of the shotgun on this second and 10 play from his own 21-yard line. Takes the snap. Good protection. He's going to launch it. Right side. Got a man. Out his receiver to adjust to it. All right, on third down and 10. Another low snap. And they hand it off. Smith straight ahead. Breaks a tackle. He's to the 25. He's to the 30. He's to the 35. Breaks another tackle. Very often, and that was a missed tackle in wide yes. open spaces. First and 10. Low snap again. Hand off Smith. Low, and, and uh, Warner's done a nice job digging him out. All right, second and 11. Another low snap. Warner pump fake. Back to throw. He's going to run to the right side. Throws off oh, his back foot. He's got a man wide open on the side of the field. And it's caught. That is 10 from the Columbus 40. Again, couple receivers to the left, one to the right. Out of the gun, Warner. They motion a man. That's Hush. Fake the handoff. Warner on the keeper. So Columbus's defense trying to take away Warner on the keeper. Yep. Another low snap. Tom, I'll take your name, where you're from, who you're cheering for. You know the drill. All right. This is Warner with a pump fake. Pressure coming. He throws right side. Puts some air under it. It's... 26-yard reception. Oh, my goodness. Uh, McKinstry's home furnishings first and 10, and they're going no huddle here. Another low snap. Hand off. And we watched the uh, kicker in the pregame. He looked pretty good. Three receivers to the left, one to the right. Smith alone set back, but a pump big by Werner. Now he throws. Caught. That spritz inside the 10. In this drive. So make it second and a long one or a short two. Werner hands it off. Smith breaking a tackle to the five. He's got a first down and here we go on first and goal for the Blackhawks from the two. Werner has the snap. He's going to run with it. Oh, Keeper to the left side. And really hard to bring down. Second down and goal from the two-yard line. Sweet. And handed off as a sweep. Yep. And a nice cut. But in the first quarter on the John Deere Horicon works scoreboard. Here we go. Third and goal for the Blackhawk family. And it's a timeout. We'll keep it right here. 
And we did get our first email of the day. Oh, my goodness. This is Jared Fox filling in for Marlon Hensler on the PA here today. Joe, you're crazy. Again, we'd like to hear from you, folks. Send us an email, sports at dailydodge.com, sports at dailydodge.com. We'll take your name, where you're from, who you're cheering for. We know you're out there. We had many, many times over the years. All right, third and goal for the Blackhawks. From the one-yard line, Werner out of the gun. They motion a man. And, uh, well, that right there, there Here we, we go. go. A bunch of paws up there to knock that one down. Fourth and goal for the Blackhawks from the one. Werner gives it up to the left side. Diving for the pylon. Touchdown, Baldwin Woodville. Oh, my gosh, that was so close. Colton Hush with a one-yard dive to the pylon. And with 5.53 to go first quarter, it's 6-0 Blackhawks. I'm going to tell you something, folks. I'd like to see that one in replay. Ninja, you got it? Yeah? It just played? Okay, I'll tell you what. I'd like to have a whole lot better angle than what we've got because in pros and college, they're going to go to replay on that one. It was so close. Davis Paulson who attempts the extra convert scoreboard. Back in one minute, Daily Dodge TV in 95.3. Double... John Deere Horicon Works scoreboard. It's now 7-0 Baldwin Woodville leading Columbus. And Tim Haldeman, that was an impressive opening drive by the Blackhawks. Did I hear right? 17 plays on that opening drive. 17 plays. It took them six minutes and seven seconds. So yeah. And they went what 91 yards? Oh, they went 91 yards. 91 yes, yards, yes. folks. Yep. All right. Paulson's gonna kick it off. Here we go. Onside and it's a kick. Onside kick. It was touched early. And let's see. Bowman Woodville says they have it. No signal yet from the officials. We're waiting. They're still discussing it. We're waiting for an official signal. The Blackhawks think they've recovered. And they're seeing And they're seeing it's Baldwin Woodville football. Ooh, I thought they touched it before it went to Well, off. apparently the, the referees the felt Hawks otherwise. I don't think you could kick. see it. And they're, I mean, that, that caught everybody in the building by surprise. They're still discussing. They're yeah, they're still discussing. They're, yeah, they're still talking, they're talking about it. exactly what we're talking about. Because the one referee is indicating on the other side of the 50 yard line. They're talking about it. And I, I'll tell you what, I, uh, it was a difficult uh, look for the referee because he's looking right down that 50, as we are, Mike. I'll tell you what, there's another call. And, and I understand the replay is not going to come back to the ball back. behind Cotter out of the gun. Brunel takes him for Kick 
Baldwin Woodville, seven. By reserving your tee time online at KestrelRidgeGolf.com. Stop in for their fantastic Hi, Friday Fish Fry and Dining Specials. Kessel Ridge, all your upcoming holiday party, wedding, or private. Tie ball game as we come back to Columbus Fireman's Park. Here's the short end over end kick fielded at the 31 yard line. So the oh. Oh. First and 10 for the Blackhawks. All right, first and 10 for the Blackhawks. Two receivers to each side. Second, but uh, you can send us an email sports at daily day today. Sports at dailydodge.com. Send me your name, where you're from, who you're cheering for, and I'll get you on the air today. All right, he's traded five yard penalties. Uh, well, we. 10 now again for the Blackhawks from their own 37. Another little snap, handoff, and. Watch the ball! Pass! And it's caught by Shelly, breaks the tackle, he's to the 40, and down. Watch the ball! Timeout Blackhawks, their second of their half. Daily Dodge TV 95.3 WBEV. Third down and two for Baldwin Woodville from their own 45. Balls on the right half. Blackhawks says they will be walking back another five yards. That's very good. From their own three receivers left. Low pass, pass, pass. Come on. Come on. That happened, but that'll back him up another five yards. Five so it's going to be a first. They keep a uh, close watch on seven on the John Deere Horicon Works scoreboard, but a first and goal for Columbus from the 10. And the give to Brunel. Right side he goes inside the 10, inside the five. Dives to the goal line. Touchdown, Columbus. Touchdown, Columbus. Colton Brunel with a 10 yard house call. And it's 13 to 7 in favor of the Cardinals. Oh, I like that, Mike. Let's go. I like that. Three plays from scrimmage. Three. 42 yards. And they scored on. <laughs> 42 yards in total on three carries. Great, crazy. Colton isn't it? Brunel. And they are up 13. Whoops. That Hines one's no extra good. point is Hines blocked. Extra yeah. Point is blocked. We're back Rimbo in one seven. minute. Daily Dodge TV in 95. Blackhawks seven. Hines to kick it away for Columbus. Short end over end kick. And this will be taken by Lowe. Get him, get him, get him. Watch the ball. On first and ten. Low step. Deeper, 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 deeper. And trying to break the Down. Thank you very much. Watch the ball, guys. Watch the ball. Pass. 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 are second to none. They have just a wonderful program. Yeah, keep it, keep it. The Blackhawks try a fake punt. Stop short from the Columbus interior line defense. First down, Columbus. Give is to Brunel from the left side. There you go. Oh, God. We love that kid. 
No, I'll feel better if they get this point now. Every point. Yeah. Extra point is good. Brunel, three touchdowns already in the first quarter for Columbus. Hines' kick is in the air. And will be taking it around the Get in, get in, get in. There's no money. Get him wrapped up. My defense. Pass, pass, pass. Ball, ball. Get him, get him. Yeah, this is gonna 
With 50 seconds remaining in the second quarter on the John Deere Horn Network scoreboard, it's now 27 to 14. Columbus leading Baldwin Woodville. Today's game brought to you in part. Watch the ball! The company and Jerry's Automotive. With a very important touchdown a moment ago, there's a ground ball squib kick. No, it's just fallen on by Braxton Knockreiner. At around his own 34 yard line. Well, that's all I got one. Checking in on the broadcast today. First and 10. Out of the throw. And he will launch it. Downfield, it is intercepted at the 34 yard line of Baldwin Woodville. Cal Smith. Baldwin Woodville with one side out remaining. Pass! 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 Get it! Keep it! Keep it! Keep it! Get across the first spot. Breaking tackles and gets off first down. If you sent one and I haven't read it yet, I will get to you. First and ten. Baldwin Woodville on the Columbus 46. Warner off his back foot throws. Caught six seconds to go. First and ten. Baldwin Woodville. No, they're gonna try a they're gonna try a field goal. No, it's a fake. It's gotta be, right? This is gonna be 47 yard 47 yard field goal attempt. It's got the distance. Let's see. It's good. Oh my goodness. Oh, so As time expires at the end of the half, and it's 27 to 17. That may be one of the longest field goals I've ever seen at the high school level. Baldwin, we knew Paulson was good. Your dreams come true. This is the most of the Columbus. to 17 Columbus leads Baldwin Woodville as we start the third quarter her dad was running for St. Croix County Sheriff and he was walking in the parade you know shaking hands and and, and you know stumping for votes and he had myself and his daughter my friend and a bunch of us walking around we were handing out candy and leaflets saying hey vote for Tom vote for Tom and one summer in Baldwin Wisconsin you know chances are she's probably listening right now Well, she could be yeah. uh, you know you never Please. know uh, does win this ball game today, but the game is played on Friday night as opposed to Saturday. Saturday right. That's what I'm hoping. Columbus gets the opening uh, kick in the second half. Here's the end over end kick. That is a kick. Link, yes, back to the one yard line, to the five. He's to the 10. He's to the 15. Breaks a tackle, 20. Breaks another tackle, 25. And History's home furnishings first and 10 for the cards. On their own 30, Cotter out of the gun. Because I saw too many men, maybe. And. Uh, it's first and 10, Columbus now at their own 45. All right, here we go. Is Lincoln motion again? Cotter fumbles the snap, picks it back up. Now he's going to run with it. 45 on second and two. Couple receivers to the near side of the field. Now they motion Brunel, and he's going to take that. Nope. It's uh, first and 10, Cardinals on the Blackhawk 37 yard line. Cotter out of the gun. Lincoln motion, and Link takes the handoff. He's inside the 35, cut back 30. He's to the 25. On first and 10 for the Cardinals from the Baldwin Woodville 24. They'll put two receivers to the left, hand off Brunel. And he's met near the line. Susie from that, uh, checking in on that email. We'll get to some more in a minute. This is second and six. And third and six for Columbus at the 21 yard line of Baldwin Woodville. Cotter, 17, Columbus leading Baldwin Woodville. Here they go, fourth and six. Cotter to throw. Boston. Reagan Kelly checking in today. I didn't know there was a Dal. Columbus is clapping. It's a false start. Don't, I guess. I, you know. First and 15 for Baldwin Woodville from their own 16. Moving left to right, third quarter. And they'll keep it. You'll find us. Send me your name, where you're from, who you're cheering for. Second and 10 from the 21. And Warner has the snap. Looking to throw. Now he's going to run to the left side. Warner, he's to the 20. 25, or for Baldwin Woodville rather, on their own 26, three receivers to the near side. They motion a man, that's Smith. Keeper by, it's fourth and less than a yard. They're gonna go for it. And the big boys up front for Columbus who just uh, completely destroyed that one from the get-go. On first and 10, Columbus from the Baldwin Woodville 29, Brunel. He's to the 30, 25, he could go, 20, 10, five, touchdown, Columbus! Colton Brunel, his fifth 
rushing touchdown of the game. And with 7.34 to go in the third quarter, wait a minute, there's uh -oh. a flag down. Hold everything. Me? At the three-yard line? At the three-yard line, oh. there's a flag. And they're just, I, I, I saw it at the last second. The uh, Blackhawks, but, yep. Okay, what is it? Dead ball foul. Dead. Ooh. Uh, personal foul. Personal foul. Came a 29-yard scamper. 33 to 17 for the moment, and Hines will attempt an extra point. It's up, and it is your Horicon Works scoreboard. Back in one minute, Daily Dodge TV at 95.3 WBEV. Call five rushing touchdowns, onside and it's kick. an onside kick. And there's a scramble. Columbus got it. Columbus is. Yep. They got it. Columbus does an onside kick and recovers. Turnabout is fair play, and I couldn't quite tell who. First and 10, Columbus from the Baldwin-Woodville 34-yard line. It's McKinstry's home furnishings for Tim Burdell. He's the 35-30, 20. Wow, thanks for the email, folks. Again, sports at dailydodge.com is where you'll find us. I'll get to some more in a moment. First and 10, Blackhawk, or I should say Columbus on the 20. Pick it in thanks, on that Shaney. Appreciate the kindness. I've been fooling you for years. And the give is, nope, it's a keeper. Cotter, 15, left side, and he's checking in today and they say great announcing by the way very professional toby thank you i don't know what game you're listening to though <laughs> here's for 17 columbus leads at the moment they're looking to add to that lead right here brunel in the backfield cotter out of the gun first and goal from the four for the cardinals brunel takes the handoff and he second goal now thus far matches at 21 matches the number on his uniform cotter takes the snap Gives it to Brunello. Oh, he's going to take it himself. Yep. Yeah. Dives. Touchdown, Columbus. Nathan Cotter faked the handoff, and he dove for the touchdown. A one-yard plunge for Cotter, and with 5.16 to go in the third quarter, 40-17 to in favor of Columbus on the John Deere Horicon Works scoreboard. One for uh, Cotter, and that prevented the double hat trick. <laughs> it did. For Colton Brunello. Hines to try an extra point. Kick is up. Kick is We'll take a one minute break. We're back in one minute. Daily Dodge TV at 95.3. And Hines' kick will be fielded just shy of the 10 yard line. Smith to the 15, 20, 25. He's. Sports at dailydodge.com if you want to send one in. Low snap, dugout, handoff, and the hog pin bar and grill. Must be a whole gang there watching the game. On second and ten, Warner being chased out of the pocket, rolling to the near side, throws. Central Wisconsin there is today. Not a clown in the there sky, is not. Folks. Third and ten. Blackhawks on their own 31. Warner pump fake. Now running to the left side, throw right. Burn, which is just outside of Hudson. How far is that? Probably not too far. All right. An hour, hour and a half, maybe. That's a great course. Here's the punt. And Link will field it at the 29. Oh, He's going to stiff arm a man, 35. Near sideline, 40, 45. First How about Seltzner? 10. How about Seltzner? First and 10. Jerome's? I don't know. First and 10 from the 50 for Columbus. And a Brunel. He's inside the 45. Insulations. And he's what? He's the only runner ever? Second run. Second run. Thank you. All right. First and 10 from the... Don't look as free as easy, free and easy as it was early in the ballgame. Second and two Cardinals in the Blackhawk 29 handoff. Brunel, right side, big hole. Inside the tw tw uh, pick up Columbus here as they're walking the other way. Man, these are blasts from the past. Third and as it was second down and 17. Link takes the handoff. Right side, 45, cut back. Pushes Grandma and Grandpa. That was a heck of a kick. One of the best I've ever seen. On third and 14. Cotter, send me your name. Where you're from, and uh, if you know of any good golf courses in the near from you. <laughs> All right, it's fourth and 14 for Columbus. And timeout, Columbus. timeout has been called. Timeout. This section, fourth and 14 for Columbus from the Baldwin Woodville 41. They're going to punt it. Braxton Knockrider's punt is in the air, high floater. It's going to. All right, first and 10 for Baldwin Woodville from their own six. Werner in his own end zone, looking to throw. He's going to throw to the left side. It is caught on the sideline. On Baldwin. 
give us a little free entrance into the place. Well, there's no cover charge, no, I'm sure. Are you sure? <laughs> All right. I wouldn't think so on Not the, the place. 26. Oh, yeah. I beg your pardon, he, he gained three because there was the penalty. I was thinking that was, yeah, there we go. I'll get it right. Anyways, Werner now dancing, buying time. Buying old now. We're not even to the uh, fourth quarter. Holding. And grill here after this game, Tim. It's just been a long one. Mine's just down the street. Yeah, I know. Yours, you're, you're watering holes down the street. All right, on first and ten. To us. Absolutely. When uh, Columbus Absolutely. takes on Ellsworth. We would, uh, we would enjoy that. All right. This is Warner to throw. Caught by Smith. Oh, and oh. Loss of six, third and 17 for Baldwin Woodville from their own 36. Back to throw Warner. Pressure coming. We start the fourth quarter. It's a fourth down in 30 for the Blackhawks. They have to punt it away. And here is the punt by Sean Van Someren, and it will go out of bounds. I've been to Blair, and uh, right down the road from Taylor. First and 10, Columbus from their own 41. Uh -oh. That pass is bad. Forward to working with her again. Second and 10, Columbus from their own 41, moving left to right, fourth quarter. Hand off, this is, yes. Yeah, there's I, a few Columbus fans that uh, were, were sudden, yeah, uh, exactly. going like, oh boy. All right, third and 16 for Columbus from their own 36. Cotter, out of the gun, has the snap. Looking to throw, rolling to the left. Now he's going to throw off his back foot. Kills the clock. All right, on a fourth and 16, Columbus will have to punt it away. And this Ooh. one straight up in the air. Boy, not a very long punt. And it's going to oh. take a Columbus bounce, though. Might I don't know exactly, but I'm just asking. First and 10 on the 27 for the Blackhawks. From who you're cheering for, what golf courses you like to play, sports at dailydodge.com. And on second and 13, handoff straight ahead. This is TV and 95.3 WBEV. What do we have for viewership right now there, Ninja? As the, oh, my goodness, here is... 128, so a punting situation here. Van Somerin back to punt. Gets the high floater nice. off. Nice punt. <sighs> but we'll we'll wait and see. That means the Badgers are going to have to win. Well, they're going to have to exactly. And here's a handoff to Bruce. Second and four, Columbus from their own 40. Cotter, hands off. This Roach, right? We did, didn't we? Come on, folks. We got to hear from you again. Cotter out of the gun, takes the snap, gives it, gets. Second and 10. The give. Roach. Nobody does. Yeah, Roach and Cotter, and yeah, Baldwin Wiggle says they recovered, but there was a, uh, a muffed exchange. The ref referees have not signaled Baldwin Woodville on the Columbus 46. It just 46. goes to show how important practice is. Oh, absolutely. I mean, man, when that mesh doesn't work, when you're not with the same player, like Grinnell has been with them all the well, Fake time. Warner, he's going to launch it down the near sideline. Intercepted! That's Link near the 15 to the 20, 25, 30. He's to the middle of the field. Oh, Here's Link. He's to the 40, 45. Finally... From their own 47, balls on the far hash. Cotter out of the gun, will give it to Roach. 50, he's to the 45, oh, he's baby. to the 40. Right sideline, 30, and he carries for 151 and a couple of touchdowns. Another give to Roach. Another town I'm very familiar with in West Central Wisconsin. And here's a handoff to Roach. Geography major. I should have been. I, I could have been a cartographer, you know, map maker. Here for Columbus from the 11 yard line of Baldwin Woodville. Cotter out of the gun, Roach standing behind in the lone setback, couple receivers to the left. Hand off Roach, east of the 10. Kind of. Third and two. Keeper, Cotter to the five, dives to the pylon, he is in. Forty-seven to seventeen, Columbus with three fifty-seven left. Well, uh, you just keep walling, walling. Hope that Nathan Cotter should hang on to the ball a few more times. He has uh, in this second half, he's got seven carries for uh, thirty-seven yards and a couple scores. So, uh, you know that all that stuff adds up. We're back in one minute. Daily 1500 Big Bone Crew Cabs will put those nightmares to rest for you, Bruce and Tony Byers. Twenty-two fifty off Dodge Durango's. No matter when it is, will you be with us on Daily Dodge TV and 95.3 W? Tell you what, that's about 
85 yards away. First and 10, Blackhawks on their own 46. They'll keep it on the ground straight. Rene with that email today. They go hurry up offense, handoff. This is Hush on the right side, 50. Hawks on the Columbus 47. Two receivers to each side, out of the gun, Warner. He's got the ball, throws, caught. That's Ben Sumerin. He's at the 41. Oh, so proud of our coaches from Cheryl. Cheryl checking in today. Thank is you very much. Is that the gal that takes the tickets down the way here? I'll bet is you. it? I'll bet you it is. Here's Warner to throw on fourth down. Caught across the middle, inside the 30, down to the 25. Down. Robin. Great athletes out there, man. They do. They have. They're they a just, fine, uh, fine program. They just ran into a buzzsaw with this group of uh, kids from Columbus. Dan they're... Kiefer, he's been around a long time. The head coach of uh, Baldwin Woodville. He, here's a play action. Come on, come on, come on, this come on. is Warner throwing to the end zone. Intercepted. Intercepted. Flag on the play. Intercepted by Riley Knockright. Okay. There's a flag in the end zone? Yeah, it's in the end zone. Yes. Okay, it sure wasn't on there. I'm oh, a surprise there. <laughs> okay. So this is not a spot foul. This is not the NFL. It'll be uh, half the distance. It's going to go down to the 12 and a half. See how close I go. Um, grandparents said, I'll talk about this in a second. Here's Werner to throw, and it is... Counting left in the game. It was a first down and 10 from the 12. Now it's second and one after a gain of nine from the three yard line. That looked like a volleyball match. Incredible. Oh. Here is Warner giving it to Logan Gordon. He's in, touchdown, Baldwin Woodville. So Gordon takes it in from three yards out and with a minute, three seconds left in the fourth quarter, it's now 48-23 Columbus. Playing hard to the end, as we said. Now they'll attempt the extra point. This uh, Paulson, Paulson kid is a uh, senior. I wonder if uh, Paulson's kick is up, and it is good. 48-24. Let's do this. Let's take a one-minute break. Back in one minute, Daily Dodge TV and 95.3 WBEV. You to be a part of their new... Tim, let's take a golf trip to Florida sometime. Oh, oh man. But I want to go to Dallas, Wisconsin first. first. And right, Chitek right. and all that. Here's the approach by Paulson, by the way. Oh, what a booming kick. Even if you didn't email us, we just enjoy knowing that you're tuned in on 95.3 WBEV or watching on Daily Dodge TV. You're always welcome here. And this is a handoff on first and 10. This is Roach. He could go. He's And that is the cherry on top of the Sunday, 54-24 Columbus. Well, Connor Roach, not... He just has the unfortunate thing that he has to play behind Colton Brunel. Hines to attempt the extra point. Kick is up. Hines is pretty good kicker. Chances are for a and equal housing lender. zone for a touchback. 49 seconds remaining. The Ellsworth fans tuned in today. Are you ready to make a nice little drive down here for a big game? Here is a first and 10. Warner handing it off to Gordon. Straight ahead. Now, both of them. All right, after a gain of five, second and five handoff. Gordon again, and he is dropped about a yard or so shy of the first down marker. Going to mark him at the 29. Just 12 seconds left. I think that's going to be the final play of the game. And they're not going to snap it again. So this one, the clock will head down to double zeros in your final score today here at Fireman's Park on the John Deere Horicon Work Scoreboard. Baldwin Woodville, 20 on a fine season. They pick.